What is good, everybody? This is Anthony with the movie blog, and I'm the. Yo, what is good? What is good? What is good, everybody? We are back with another recap after that last episode of Dark Matter, where we learned that Jason's problems are multiplying like gremlins after a midnight <laughs> snack. When he learns that there are at least three Jasons running around on the same Earth. And we knew at the way that the episode ended that things were going to turn up from here. This new episode picks up where the last one left off and it does not disappoint. We see that there's a Jason 3 and a Jason 4 at this point, but we had no idea how intense things were going to get from here. I mean, there are more Jasons here than the San Diego Horror Convention and the stakes are even higher now with Jason Prime finally reuniting with his family and now they're on the run from all the other Jasons. But first, look, if you're new here, please, 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 please do me a favor. Hit that like button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. This video is good, trust me, and it helps me even in 2024 to try to keep making these things so we can take a deep dive into the shows that we love right after they air. Please. Thank you, please. This episode is titled Jupiter. Well, at least it better be, right? Like I saw all them comments about when I called episode four wordless, all right? Mm. Anyway, Jupiter is a powerful title because on the surface, it means nothing to the average person other than, you know, being the name of a planet. But for Jason Prime and Daniela, Jupiter is everything. Jupiter is comfort. Jupiter is trust. Jupiter is the safe word that Daniela establishes between herself and Prime when he finally reunites with his wife after not seeing her for weeks. This episode opens with a sight of a young Charlie sitting in the kitchen sketching in his notebook and this is kind of interesting that it looks like Charlie has inherited his mom's appreciation for art and it don't look that bad. Jason too comes down looking for Daniela and learns that she left to go check in on Ryan as he's finally been found. Sort of. We see Jason too handle the age old husbandly duty of taking out the trash. While he's out, my guys get straight up attacked by a knife wielding stranger who's straight up out for blood. And it's in this moment that we see that the person attacking Jason is Jason. Whoa. Not only is this ass finally getting a taste of what he deserves, we see that the Jason who's actually attacking him is the same Jason who bought the knife at the end of last episode and has the string around his ring finger. The bad news is that apparently this Jason can't fight all too good and things take a turn when Jason too gets the upper hand and proceeds to bash his skull against the concrete, taking him out for good. If what the actual what? Yo, my guy Jason too, did he, did he just take out Jason one? Let's look at the evidence. This guy is wearing the same sweater as the two Jasons that entered the store. Those two Jasons look downright identical. And the main thing that was helping us differentiate the two was the brace on the left hand of the Jason's finger. So the assumption is that the Jason with the finger brace is actually a variant of the Jason one who will now refer to as Jason Prime. And if all of that is true, then there's a chance, a chance that what we just saw here is the death of the actual Jason Prime. Hold that thought. We then switch to see Daniela taking a few moments to check in on Ryan, who at this point has no friggin' clue who all these people are or what it is that they want and need. He tries to explain to Danielle that he's just a mechanic who went out drinking with some dude in Logan Square, but his memory is a bit hazy. Daniela asks him who he was with that night and Ryan is able to confirm that he was out drinking heavily with Jason when Daniela shows him a photo. We then switch to Jason Prime? At least I think it's Prime because the camera takes a moment to focus on the string ring on his finger. Now, something really interesting is that we see that this Jason also has one of those Caribbean approved knives, but he's just now taking his out of the case 
when he's back at his hotel and seemingly getting ready to take back his life. And oh my gooseips does this show pick up from here because we see Jason heading out of his hotel room, walking down the hallway, only to see another freaking Jason. And OMG, what the what? Yo, this is getting wild. The duplicate Jason sees Jason Prime and clearly has a million thoughts running through his head when he decides to just make a run for it. And I gotta admit that at this point, I did initially get confused on how to tell the two Jasons apart because this is getting downright confusing. After rewinding a few times, I finally was able to see that Jason Prime is distinguished by his peacoat, which is similar but different to the jacket that the variant was wearing in this hallway. The variant makes a run for it and loses Jason Prime quickly. But what's even more incredible is when we see yet another Jason. Yes, another Jason. This new Jason is dressed pretty differently than the others and we see that he's wearing a white ugly Christmas sweater and a baseball cap. I don't know where this Jason came from but we see him following Jason Prime the same way Jason Prime was following the other variant. We then switch back to Jason 2 who's back in his garage taking care of the body of the variant he fought in the alleyway at the beginning of the episode. Charlie comes to let him know that the food delivery has arrived and Jason 2 is able to blow him off. We then switch back to Jason Prime who's being followed by Ugly Sweater Jason and Jason is able to give him the slip at the neighborhood bar where he runs into a six Jason? Yo, if <laughs> Yo, am, am I bugging or are we really six Jasons in at this point? This Jason, from which point I'm going to refer to as Hobo Jason, is dressed differently with a black wool cap, a jacket, and a noticeably black string tied around his finger as a wedding ring. And rather than a cut on his nose, this Jason has a pretty nasty scratch across his forehead. These two Jasons, they're peaceful at first, exchanging information on their shared history and agreeing that it was inevitable that different versions of them would spawn out of the box. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Just what the heck is happening and what the heck are they talking about? Now, Dark Matter actually gave us clues along the way that something like this was happening throughout the entire show. The fact that Jason 2 existed at all was our first clue, but our next big clue was when Jason Prime and Amanda were visiting a world that had another version of Jason and Amanda back when they were still being chased in the Velocity Labs, except that Jason and Amanda never made it into the box and got captured by Layton and Trigger Fingers. We also got hints of this concept back when we saw the version of Blair that was from Amanda's world that was hiding out on the post-apocalyptic Earth that got overtaken by giant killer bees. We saw even then that the reason that world even got overtaken was because another variant of Blair arrived on that world a year before the Blair that we saw. And the other Blair brought the killer bees with her when she emerged out of the box. Dark Matter was showing us all along that the amount of worlds that exist have now been exponentially amplified by Jason 2 and his actions in kidnapping Jason Prime and starting this whole adventure in the first place. Yeah, anyway, they begin wondering just how many of them are out there and how many of them made it back to Prime Earth. They also talk about the fates of their Amandas with Hobo Jason losing his Amanda to a very dark world. They eventually come to the realization that the variants of Jason Prime that came out of the box all think of themselves as the Prime Jason and they all want to get back to their life with Daniela and Charlie. And when you start to think about it, they're all kind of right. They're all victims of Jason 2 and are all variants of Jason Prime. So it would only make sense that they're all kind of sort of from Earth Prime. Maybe? The Jasons peacefully walk away after a brief stare down. The next day, we then switch to see Jason Prime doing what he can to get himself arrested by smoking a cigar inside of a non-smoking public restaurant. 
showing that his privilege has limits, we see that Dawn, aka Trigger Fingers, is a police officer on Prime Earth and arrests Jason's ass after he ticked off the manager. We then switch back to Jason 2 and Daniela, with Daniela now on full alert. She talks to Jason and he gives her a dumb reason for not loaning her his car before she gives him the frostiest stare down this side of Rosemont. He then pisses off Charlie when he forgets he offered Charlie a campus tour of the University of Chicago. He last minute throws something together and Charlie throws him some sass up and down the campus, not at all feeling the sentiments his dad has, when out of nowhere, Jason gets a glimpse of Hobo Jason across the campus. We then switch to Daniela, who's back at Jason 2's storage locker, this time exercising the full privilege of her rights when she breaks into Jason's locker and finds his stash of money and supplies from the multiverse and then even finds Ryan 3's mechanic uniform. Daniela then gets a call from an unknown number. We then switch to Jason 2 scurrying through the University of Chicago campus with his son while they're being chased by Hobo Jason. And we see that this Hobo Jason has had it pretty rough with a piece of his face covered in burn scars. Jason 2 dips on his son in order to try to take care of this Hobo Jason. Now they chase each other to the darkest recesses of the campus library and they have a quick scuffle in the library bathroom and we see this Jason whip out a retractable knife in order to help Jason 2 with his makeup. The bad news for Hobo Jason is that Jason 2 knows how to handle himself and he's able to take care of this variant the same way he took care of the other one. We then switch to Jason Prime who's getting bailed out of jail by Whoa! Daniela! Jason! I noticed Mofo was smart. He meets up with Daniela and he tells her everything. He explains how he got kidnapped by a variant and proves it to her when he asks her to call him while he's standing right in front of her. She gives him the benefit of the doubt and pulls out her phone where she gets the shock of her life when she calls Jason and this mofo actually answers. Now Jason Prime helps prove that the Jason that's been with her is an imposter when she fact checks him about how they spent last Christmas. Prime proves his point and Daniela is shook it. Jason Prime drops more problems on Daniela when he tells her of all the variants that are also running around and oh yeah, they all want to be with Daniela. Now Daniela, she deserves a medal, an island getaway, and all the therapy money in the world, right? Because this poor woman doesn't even realize it, but she's dealing with more Jasons than a therapist socializing in multiple personality disorder. And not only does she keep it together, she remembers her priorities and that she needs to go get Charlie away from this Jason too. She agrees to meet up with Prime later and establishes that safe word, Jupiter. We then see Daniela head home where she meets up with Jason too, who is scrambling. I mean, my guy is all the way shook it, and he's packing bags ten telling Daniela that it's time to go. Now, Daniela plays it slick and is able to pull a fast one on Jason too while in the house, and she mm, bumps his ass down a flight of stairs. She makes a run for it with Charlie in her car, but only makes it to the end of the block before she's cut off by Jason in an old Toyota, who's frantic and excited. She gets in the car with him, thinking this is the same Jason from earlier, and we all do. But we quickly realize that the Pico Jason she's in the car with is a completely different Jason. Like, what? Another Jason! And just when we think things are wild enough, they get into a brutal car accident when another car T-bones them, spinning them out on the road, only for them to see that the driver of the other car is another Jason. Yo, this multiverse stuff is getting out of hand. They even got Jason on Jason Crime now? Maybe they should call in a specialist like Jason Statham. He could be, I don't know, Jason Primetime to fix all this. Daniela and Charlie make a run for it, and this time they head to the B, the giant metallic art structure located in Chicago. Daniela meets up with the Jason that's there, and before she even talks to the man, he better say the mother effing code word. And when he does, and he says Jupiter, and he gives her what she needs to let this man hug her son, it's end credits.
ends, yo. This show right here. This show Dark Matter? I love this. Apple. Y'all over here holding down the crown for sci-fi TV. Like, yo. We see Jason Prime finally make it home, only to see that the entire time that he was traveling the multiverse, he was creating a tidal wave of variants that are all now converging on Earth Prime. We lose count of all the Jasons running around at this point, right? We had ugly Christmas sweater Jason stalking Jason Prime, while Jason Prime was chasing another Jason. Meanwhile, Jason 2 is back at home hiding the body of the Jason he just whacked at the alley, and then he takes out another Jason in the University of Chicago library, and poor Charlie Buss is hard just went to college tour and order some pizza. Now, with all the chaos picking up from there, I honestly can't wait for you all to see what happens in the next episode. Where does this leave Daniela, Charlie, and the real Jason Prime now that they're finally back together? Will they ever get a moment of peace or at least stop tripping over Jasons in every hallway? Find out next week as we break down the explosive finale. I promise it's gonna leave you talking. Anyway, look, if you're new here, please, 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 you made it this far, give this video a like. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and check out some more of our videos. Otherwise, I'm going to check you all later. Peace.